Good night to you. You're probably watching this video and it's being recorded live on Facebook. Welcome aboard. So if you're watching this replay, just type in the number two. Today we're going to be talking about personal branding and how you can actually utilize that to influence your buyer's decisions before they know, um, you know you're the right person for them to make purchases from. Remember, people buy from those they know, like, and trust. All right, so it looks like our live people have come through. So I'm going to be chatting to the people uh, live. But if you're watching the replay, just type in the number two so that we can continue. And if you watch until the end, thank you so much. I see Anna Willen has just tuned in. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to take this off a little bit. Steve Salvia has just also tuned in. Thank you so much. I'm hoping everybody is having a fantastic day. And I see Robert is in the house. Thank you so much for tuning in. Sorry I didn't show up yesterday. Our show on ABC was being um, shot through. So we were having a fantastic time out of the office. Um, I don't mean to let you guys, um, you know, um, alone like that. So Anna is in the house. It looks like she's ready for yet another pumping and exciting episode of the Lunch and Learn. All right. So basically, my name is Prosper Tarubinga and I lead a team um, of digital marketers here at Live Long Digital, where we help small businesses like yourself, um, you know, to grow essentially um, through digital marketing strategies. And I viscerally believe that if you're an online entrepreneur, your business should be profitable and in. Enjoyable. So that's the reason why every single day at 2 p.m. AEST, we sit around here and we talk about how you two can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable using four stages of the online prosperity blueprint. All right. So I help you capture the right kind of clients so that you send them the right kind of content. And once you've done that, you convert those prospects into paying customers and you now create a lasting brand. So today we're going to be talking a lot about personal branding. All right. How many of you that are watching right now, um, just type in the number one, are very particular about their personal brand or how you're represented on social media. I want you to sort of type in the number one if you are militant about who you are on social media or who you are, especially if somebody does a Google search about you or type in the number two if you're working on it, if you're trying to grow and establish who you are, if you're trying to grow your brand or number three, if you don't care any less what people think because you are just mighty fine. All right. So number one, if you're um, you know, forward thinking and really putting it out there to make sure that your personal branding is is on a person is um is on a good note. Tinaya Zinenga, thank you so much and happy new year, my friend. Hopefully, um, you know, um, you, you know, your 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 year is off to a good start. Robert, um, is on number two. Anna is also doing number two, and Jen is viscerally, um, you know, uh, invested in creating their personal brand. All right. So let me tell you something. Even if you don't go out of your way to create the personal brand, it's happening whether you like it or not. Every tweet, every blog post, every interaction that you make with anybody else is written in stone when it comes to the internet. Half the time we might think we put out a status and then once we've done it, um, what, what happens if we, we want to delete it later on in life, um, it, it goes away. It doesn't happen like that. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all the big um you know, social media sites have what are called clone sites that scrap content from the, uh, you know, platform as soon as it's written. All right. So you will be surprised if you really actually Google your name right now, you will find yourself on a platform in Japan that you never signed up for with your picture, with your latest status update. All of that is legal. It's not illegal at all, but it's just how the internet is created. We really don't have much of the control of the stuff as soon as it lands on the Facebook platform or on the Instagram platform or on the social, uh, any social media platform. But you can control what you want your future prospects to see and that you can do using a personal brand. All right. I'll walk you back 
in time, you know, when I was growing up, I'm not sure what it's like in Australia or wherever you're tuning in from. Um, when I was growing up, we had one room within the house that was regarded as a communications room. That's where there was the phone in the house. That's where the computer of the house used to be to live. You know, everybody else would take turns to go in there and nobody was allowed to be in there when daddy was on the phone. But nowadays, everybody has an extension to their palm, which happens to be their phone. So they have they have created it in such a way that information, content, everything else is personalized. But we as individuals, we as business people, we haven't thought to ourselves that also our prospects want to personally connect with who we are as a person. Because if you want to do business with somebody, they got to know you. They got to trust you and they really, really, really got to respect who you are as a person. So that means your values, um, you know, your, your worldview and how you see and perceive the world should be in alignment to them. Nobody, people have so much choice these days that if, if you're not aligned to who they are, they just look at your profile and walk out. All right. So you really want to make sure that you are the one person who is militant about putting your best foot forward. Because guess what? You only have one opportunity to make a lasting first impression. All right. So today I'm going to be talking to you essentially about that personal branding, part of the uh, you know buyer's journey, and how you can control the narrative. And if you're in Australia, how you can use the online, um, you know, um, the Australian business online directory to actually foster and grow your personal brand. Because you know what. Facebook, the algorithm is constantly changing and it's very confusing for a lot of people. Snapchat, you know, they up and down so you can't really put all your ducks in one basket. But I'm creating a platform where entrepreneurs like you and me can actually connect, create and relate for the people that we're going to be working with or demanding money off of. If you're in Australia right now and if you haven't heard about the online, um, you know, uh, the, uh, the Australian business online directory, just type in the 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 the, the, the word D I R uh, that's short for directory D I R and I'll shoot you through the link as soon as I'm finished with um, this show here today. So for the next thirty minutes, thank you so much for bearing with me while I was trying to introduce this topic. It's near and dear to my heart. You know why? Because. People really do business with people they know, like, and trust. You can no longer hide behind a logo anymore, especially if you're an online uh, business, all right? Anna, I'm going to be shooting you through um, the link to the directory so that you can set up your profile. And considering you are, you know, in my circle of uh, people that I really, really uh, trust and adore, I will actually upgrade your listing to a premium. So thank you so much for doing that. Alan Willis, hope you've had a fantastic break. EJ, how are you doing? Hopefully every, everybody is enjoying um, you know, the show so far. Okay, so today we're talking about how you can improve your own personal branding in the social media age and why you should actually particularly care about how you're represented um, you know, online. All right, like it or not, I don't want to lie guys, like it or not, social has changed everything. All right, we're here, we're on social media. It's free, it's fast, you can swipe right, you can swipe left, you can choose who you want to talk to, you can choose who you want to follow. So, that means your customers have so much choice and if you want to be a part of their narrative, if you want to be part of what is happening in their bias journey and bias decision, you got to make sure that your personal brand is aligned to who they are and aligned to the people you want to be serving. All right? You know, with the birth of all these social uh, me media engines and, and personal branding, it now applies to virtually any working professional. Whether you're working for somebody or whether you're a salesperson within a business, guess what? If you write me a prospecting letter, if you write me a letter, um, you know, for biz development, the first thing that I do is I look you up on LinkedIn or I look you up if you've got a personal website. I try and see who are you, who do you know, what are your values and what's in it for me to be associated with a person like you. All right. So whether you like it or not, people are searching. Whether you like it or not, people are looking. And the moment they hear your name, they want to look you up and see if they can be aligned with you. If not, they move on. 
So white collar workers or entrepreneurs, business owners, even entertainment uh, personalities and artists, everyone is being searched for, looked at. So you want to be making sure that you're controlling the narrative. So this is both good and bad. Yes, Chedu. I'm hoping you've had a fantastic start to the year, my friends. So you know what? This is really good and 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 um and bad at the same time, just like anything else, depending on how you look at it. But ever there's one thing for certain. You are in absolute control and you have the ability to detect what your own personal branding should look like online. And it's not as difficult as you think, because nowadays you are now your own brand. People want to see where their money is going. There's a lot of terrorist activities happening right right now in the world. There's a lot of, you know, hatred. There's a lot of racism, etc., etc. People want to know, are they supporting your business? Does it align with their values? Does it align with the way they want to live? Does it bring safety to the community? So if you're just hiding behind a logo, what are you doing? You're depriving your company of the need for people to connect. Because right now, if I buy anything from you, I want to be able to know that I can ring you up or I can write you a message on Messenger and you can fix it pronto. I'm not going to want to wait around in a queue because my call is valued and you will answer me next week. Who's paying for that phone call? Do you understand where the world is going now? People have become so personalized and become so spoiled that they really want to be speaking to the head honcho. That's where they think they're going to be getting good customer care. But they want to make sure that they can be able to call you at whatever time because they can relate to you. You are relatable. That's where the personal brand comes in. So if you're, if you're thinking that you're hiding behind your logo or you're not being open about who you are, people will search you. And when that happens, and when that happens, they will look and find the things that you don't want them to find. Why not you, you know, give them what to look at? Why not you show them what to look at and then that automatically takes off the guard from them because if he's showing us this, then he's got nothing to hide. I would understand that every single once in a while I show pictures of my family, I show pictures of me in my office, I show pictures of me out and about dealing with other human beings. Because if those other human beings can trust me, if those other human beings, um, you know, can, 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 can let me be and free and, and be happy around me, so what? I, you might just be a bad person if you're not going to enjoy my company. That's what you want to show people, that you are yet another human being that is also living and breathing and wanting to be, do and have a happier existence just like they do. Because guess what? People support a wall or people support a city that they helped to build. And remember, your whole reputation, no matter who you are, even if you think you're going to start a business next year, people are watching. But it doesn't necessarily mean if they don't contact you, um, they, 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 you know, they, it, it doesn't matter to them. If you give people something to look at, they will look at exactly that. If you don't give them anything to look at, they'll find something to look at. And you don't want them snooping on your photos from last year when you were not yet ready to, to be the person that you're presenting yourself as today. Because remember, your reputation is everything. Your reputation is everything. So you build your personal brand through everything you do. Every tweet, every like, every share, every comment, every blog post you put out there. You're building towards your brand. That's your personal brand. All right? So where the big actions, small actions, small decisions, and, you know, that, you, you know, your brand does, it will stay within the market. It will stay within the people. Um, it will stay within the internet. Because everything that's put on the internet is written in stone. So you might as well control that narrative. Good day, Lisa. Thank you so much for tuning into this show right now. And if you're enjoying this, just type in the number one so that I see the kind of people that I'm dealing with and talking to. Um, you know, it just helps with the energy um, levels. Thank you so much, by the way, for, um, you know, staying locked in and, and, and being in touch. You know, it also helps my personal brand. All right. So you've probably done it before without even realizing it. Um, maybe it's Ed Sheeran or uh, Beyonce or John Legend, you know, you hear about a new artist.
that you you haven't heard about before, you know? And then you just end up on their social profile for no reason. Or on their personal site for no reason. And when it happens, you automatically start judging them. Even if we, we might want to ignore it, but our customers and prospects are doing that. They are looking us up just to see, do we connect? Because they want to do business with those they know, like, and trust. So there's no getting around it. Do you know what I mean? If the information is out there and if it interests them or it doesn't interest them or if their values are aligned to what they're seeing, then they will ring, up, ring you up or reply to your email and say, you know what? Yes, now we can talk. Because there's no way I'm going to allow you to speak to me if I don't trust who you are. What if you show up on my door? What if you're a bad person that's on the wanted list? You know? What if you're part of the terrorists that are being searched for? I need to know who am I talking to and where is my money going? And guess what? Everybody else is the same. You're the same too. You know, and, and Robert, you, if, you're, if you're going to be doing things on a bigger scale, then I will show you how you can control the narrative of when Google searches you. All right? Just hang in there. Because we're human. We judge each other no matter what. Even if you're going to deny it, you've already looked at the color of my tie, the color of my shirt, the color of my skin. You know what I mean? Yesterday I was sitting on, um, you know, in, in, a, in, a, in a large room full of, full of um, you know, videographers and people that take, um, you know, pride in the film industry. They were a mixture of people. They were Africans. They were, you know, Europeans. They were Spanish people. And there, there was a Japanese lady. You know? She, I took particular interest in her because she was very fascinated about the way I spoke. So she had already judged me that, wait a minute, this person is black or African. How do they speak better English than I do? So inevitably, we judge each other no matter what. So that's what your customers are doing there. Whether you like it or not. So give them something to talk about at least. You know? So as the internet generation of which we are, we are the most documented people in history. You know, if you go on the internet right now, you won't find anything from, uh, from my dad or your grandfather unless you put it up there. So you are the most documented generation ever. Alright? Those people that came before you in your family, nobody knows jack diddly about them except... Photographs that are on your grandmother's wall in a house that she's about to sell, which will be dilapidated. And there goes all the history. But your profile, your status, your tweets, your snaps, all are sitting on the internet for somebody to just harvest whenever they're looking up what you're doing. So unfortunately, our potential clients, employers or investors... They will search you up one day. Why not control what they see? Why not control that narrative by crafting a good personal brand? So if your online listings are not presentable in the way that you like them to be, it might hurt your business in a very, very big way. You know? Yes, you might not be judgmental as a person, but your prospects are. They want to see where their money is going. So the first thing you want to do is identify where you are listed online. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a tool... That is called Noem, K-N-O-W dot E-M. All right? I, I think if somebody can find it for me and type it in the, in the comments there so that people can benefit from that. It's called Noem. So basically what it does, it helps you collect all your um, social handles, even the ones that you're not going to be using or the ones that you're not going to be needing. The reason why you need those is some social handles appear first before your website, before any other website that you'd have created or before any blog that you'd have created. So you might as well have it, um, you know, you might as well have it ready. Um, EJ, it's called Noem. I think it's uh, K-N-O-W uh, dot E-M. It's a website. Can you, yes, I think that's the one. Is that, is that it? I think so. Can you, can you find out if that's the one, if somebody can help me with that so that we can go on? So, you know, so basically what it does is it, it, it helps you pick up your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, even if you're not going to use them. At least that profile is going to represent you when you're not there. It's going to be your best foot forward when you're not there, when your clients are searching. 
So anywhere else where your name is going to show up and it's placed on whatever search engine um, or maybe if you're going to have a social or a personal website, try and just make sure you have taken in all the handles that might represent you. Because some porn model might just have the same name as you and I might not be, you know, too paying too much attention and then when I'm looking for Anna Willen Clark, and then I find that it's some other hobo that's out there. Automatically, it's taking you down the totem pole of the people that are supposed to be my, my service provider. All right? And if you really want to be serious about, you know, making sure that those, um, um, you know, because it's going to be a lot of work maintaining all of those, um, you know, um, uh, what do you call them? Those profiles. You can use IFTTT. I think it's if, if this, then that. Yes. IFTTT.com. So it can post automatically when you post on your Facebook and then it just posts onto all those other things automatically. If somebody can just type in the IFTTT.com there so that other people can benefit from that, um, you know, so that they know how to use it. You don't have to post regularly, but if you have claimed your profile, it will help when people search your name, it comes up. All right? So most people don't realize that, you know, every, everywhere their information appears, and it shows up on show, and on, show, on, on, on search engines and people will find it. So just keep in mind that, you know, if you're, you can generally ignore what shows up after page number two, etc., etc., because you can always hide a dead body in page number two. But the first pages, your Twitter, your, 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 your Instagram, all of those, you know, really common uh, profiles, make sure you've got your own profile there. And nobody is utilizing it in a way that will, you know, jeopardize your your potential in, in the future. Now, Robert says, hmm, my Instagram is interesting. Oh, yes, those porn models are always following me on Twitter. <laughs> it's called reciprocation, Robert. Maybe you follow them first. All right. So once you've done this, um, you know, just take a, a, a second to just see which ones are more important for you and stick to the one that is going to be your main playground. My main playground is Facebook, but I'm found everywhere else, all right? You don't have to be everywhere or spread yourself thin, but you have to have collected, um, you know, those profiles. And do that for your business as well, because you never know where your, your clients are going to be searching, all right? And nowadays, there's this whole play between, should I use my private profile or my page on Facebook? Well, the algorithm is not supporting pages anymore unless you're paying. So I would rather you, you streamline your private profile in the way that I'm doing it. But if you still want to, you know, create that private and personal sort of, um, uh, set up within your, 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 um, within your, 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 your social media, your private profile, create albums where you, if you post um, something that's pertaining to work, you tag it into that album. That way it separates all your content, all right? So you can check how I've done my profile because I've got three different companies that are running at the same time and I also have my family and my private life. All of those are segmented into different albums. So if somebody's just coming in just to see results and testimonials of my business, there's an album dedicated to that. If somebody wants to watch these videos without having to be worried about anything, there's an album dedicated to that, all right? So you can segment, you can still have your profile open so that people can search you and look that you are not that one person who's just going to be, you know, um, a van um, with a sign saying there's candy inside, all right? And it also helps when people are searching if there's no barriers to where, to who you are. Because what else are you hiding? You know, if I'm going to be giving you money, I just want to see where the money is going. And I'm thinking that's where your prospect is thinking as well, all right? So just decide how you want to represent yourself or just go out and, 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 and rip out and, and, and put out a, a fresh um, profile. You know what I mean? And then just keep updating it up until it's, it's, it's where you want it to be. All right. Cause once you're deciding, you know, whether to make your profiles private or not, you just need to, you just need to maybe update them and, and, and remain active within that one particular uh, place that then elevates you as somebody who's relevant within your industry and the search engines, they see that as well. All right. So, 
you can you can direct your professional contact contacts to like you know one particular p uh, place in your profile etc etc all right so what is it that you update um you know you you want to make sure your description really describes what you are currently doing and how you help the person benefit centric not i am i am i have this 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 qualification nobody cares about you mate nobody cares all right so you want to co communicate what is it that you actually do and make sure it's written in a in a in a in, in a way that people can read it because Every word, every letter, everything that we see on your profile, your profile picture, who you're around, etc., etc., that's a transaction that is edging me closer or far away from doing transactions that are meaningful for you, which means me paying you money. All right? So make sure you're proving your work, you're proving your worth. Typers, they always look bad. You want to make sure that you fix them. I think there's a tool called Grammarly, uh, G R A. M M A R, I think Grammarly. Use that. To just make sure you're being represented in in, in the right frame, um, in the right place. One other thing: a picture is worth a thousand words. You can go on and say I'm this, I'm that, and you've got the best written English. But if your profile picture is not representing who you are, is not inviting, is not likable, I'm gonna swipe right, or I'm gonna swipe left. Do you know what I mean? So your main profile image has to display both, you know, your professionalism, if you want to be seen in that light, or who you really are, authentic yourself, you know, and the qualities that will make me like you, all right? And the easiest way to do this, first of all, you could hire a professional, and second of all, no selfies, guys. You even have 2,000 friends in your friend in your facebook um you know friends can't you find one of them to take a picture of your pro personal profile all right so you want to smile in there you want to show you want to invite you know other people to want to do business with you because above you and below you is yet another profile i should be interacting with why you all right so don't make the background noisy people are tired of one click wonders you really want to just show them you mean business and if you're going to be handling their work you're going to handle it in the way that you represent yourself neatly all right and that you're trustworthy this goes a long way because people do business with those they know like and trust and some of these trust factors you don't have to hear somebody speak you see them all right so just make sure you're taking time especially on your linkedin all right. If you already own a business and you're not looking for work, stop using LinkedIn as a um, resume. All right. I'm going to say that again. Stop using LinkedIn as a resume. All right. You want to use it as a sales letter already so that, you know, people are already knowing what it is that you offer. Now, um, Anna says, oh, come on. My selfies are great. Uh, <laughs> I even get my reflection in my sunglasses. No, absolutely. Um, it, it shows your personality. I'm just saying. I mean, you would know what I'm talking about. You know the, you know the 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 picture in a in a in a in a mirror, or there's a stinky bathroom behind you. You just want to set the tempo of how you want to be perceived. So, I mean, your I I think I even recommended that uh, profile picture to you, Anna, because yeah, it is nice. It is cool, and I think you were going. You were doing a school run then, right? Weren't you? So yeah. I was, I was talking about your LinkedIn profile. Just make sure you, you're taking great time, um, you know, for you, for, for, to make your, your, your LinkedIn profile look good. Because no matter what happens, your LinkedIn profile is usually second in the second, in the search engines, no matter what. And I'm really surprised, um, you know, how many professionals and, and entrepreneurs, they don't have time and they haven't invested in a great LinkedIn profile. So you want to make sure you've got that down pegged. I mean, it's not necessary because you're not looking for work. But at the end of the day, just make sure it is at least one other point of call. One other point that your, um, uh, what do you call, your prospects will find you. Because when it, whatever they're going to be finding, they will find it. So be there where your customers are searching for you. And if you want to appear as if you're, um, you know, professional, that's also good. But for those that are in Australia... If you're tired of all of these algorithms that are not working, etc., etc., I've created what's called the Australian Business Online Directory. It is a response um, to the yellow pages that 
forgot the online entrepreneur, all right? So we've got our profile pictures there. We can post our blogs. We can post events. We can post and interact with other, um, you know, online businesses within Australia. By the time I'm saying this video right here, right now, we've got 3,800 um, members that have already joined. Thank you so much for those that are, you know, you know, um, you know, trusting me on this process. I'm going to be using it as, um, you know, a really big disruptive, um, you know, um, platform to show the world and to show Australia that us as online business people, we really mean business and we want our businesses to be profitable and we want to enjoy working in them. So it's it's going to be a networking ground. It's going to be a place for businesses like you to actually grow and, you know, without the hustle of, um, you know, jumping through hoops and going, um, you know, to groups where people don't even interact with you or it's just selfish uh, motives. All right. So I'm really growing it into a platform that I want to participate in. And if you know me personally, you know, I don't tolerate any nonsense. I don't tolerate any mediocrity. So, you know, you're having quality people that you're hanging around and they say you are an average of five people that you actually uh, participate with. So if you're in Australia right now, just type in the words D-I-R, the letters D-I-R, and I'll shoot you through a, um, um, a link so that you can join, um, you know, the, um, the, online, the Australian Business Online Directory. It's going to be a hub for us people to connect, create and relate to those that we're going to be um, working with. You can actually see who the person is. You see where they've been. You see the content they're putting out there. You see the videos that they're actually putting out there. So I'm really excited about this platform and um, it's, 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 it's disruption that was needed um, that we haven't been, you know, showcased and been seen as, as people that actually mean business, um, you know, especially in the Australian Australian front. So if you know somebody that might be a part of this, let them join this. Let them know that we are here and, um, you know, we're creating our own personal profiles. And I really, really want that you use the tips in this video today to just do a quick cleanse of your digital assets and you can help to move, um, you know, your professional life forward um, into the digital edge. At the end of the day, even if you're not going to do it, it's still happening behind the scenes. Do you know what I mean? It's still happening whether you control it or not. Why not, you know, be take control of the narrative of who you are and how the world perceives you online there, all right? So you can use the directory as a starting point if you if you feel like Facebook has failed you. I'm calling it Failbook now. I mean, even if I'm using their platform, but there's so much, you know, jumping hoops and it's, it's no longer as it used to be. So let's see how it all works out. Let's see how this goes through. I'm taking this mandate upon myself to actually make sure that every online business that interacts with me in Australia will have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I visually believe you are doing this, not for your own good, but to put out something in the world. And I want to be the person to help you do that. And we, you know, the, the, the better it, 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 the bigger it gets, the better it becomes for everybody else. So just type in D I R and I'll shoot you through a link so that you too, um, can join the online, uh, the Australian business online directory. All right. So whether, whether you love it or you hate it, you have more control than you ever have for your professional future, for your existence in this business world. And the truth is, if you don't take command of how you appear online, your personal brand um, you know, online is going to have a real negative consequence and it's going to you know, um, be the demise of your growth of your business and your professional um, you know, career. Let the, let the directory do all the heavy lifting for you so that you can actually go in and start doing what you know best, which is what your, your, um, you know, your business is all about. Um, Robert says, I'd love to join, but I'm a little far away. Sorry, this is just basically an, an Australian platform, but if it does grow wings, maybe you'll see us on your shows, but I really want to connect it. I really want to, you know, make it home um, for the on online, um, the Australian uh, entrepreneur um, at home. But in the meantime, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for sharing this video. Thank you so much for um, taking notes and thank you so much for watching this video again because I know I've left um, a few nuggets that you can utilize. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. And if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to continue the conversation at the bottom there. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.